Senor Sanchez. He keeps sniffing around me. What about your brother-in-law, the dirty Monopoly player? In 1969, the comedy film Cactus Flower brought together a talented cast including Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn. The casting process was a careful one, with each actor chosen for their ability to bring depth and humor to their roles. Walter Matthau, the seasoned actor, was cast as Julius, a dentist, and the main character. His comedic timing and ability to play both serious and humorous roles made him a perfect fit. The producers were confident in his ability to carry the film and bring in audiences. Ingrid Bergman, a Hollywood legend, was cast as Stephanie, Julius' assistant. Despite being known for her dramatic roles, the producers saw her potential for comedy and were eager to work with her. Bergman was drawn to the complexity of the character and the opportunity to work with Matthau. Goldie Hawn, a relatively new actress, was cast as Tony, the free-spirited woman who becomes involved with Julius. Han's audition showcased her comedic abilities and chemistry with Matthau. The producers were impressed and saw her potential to become a breakout star. The chemistry between Matthau and Han was pivotal to the film's success. To ensure this, the producers had them do a chemistry test before filming. The test went well, and their on-screen chemistry was undeniable. In addition to the main cast, the film featured other notable actors such as Rick Lentz as Igor, Julius Patient, and Stephanie's love interest, and Vito Scotti as Senor Arturo Sanche, a florist. Overall, the casting process for Cactus Flower was a careful one, with each actor chosen for their ability to bring depth and humor to their roles. The chemistry between the main cast members and their comedic abilities contributed to the film's success and solidified its place as a classic comedy. You were kissing me. The director of Cactus Flower, Gene Sachs, was known for his comedic touch and ability to bring out the best in his actors. Sachs' vision for Cactus Flower was to create a screwball comedy that would showcase the talents of his lead actors, Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn. Sachs drew inspiration from the classic comedies of the 1930s and 1940s and aimed to create a film that was both funny and Hart Lieutenant, he employed a visual style that was simple and uncluttered, allowing the actor's performances to take center stage. Sachs worked closely with his cast, encouraging them to improvise and find the humor in their characters. To bring the story to life, Sachs collaborated closely with the film's cinematographer, Charles Lang, and production designer, Robert Boyle. Together, they created a colorful and playful visual world that perfectly complemented the film's comedic tone. Sachs also worked closely with the film's composer, Quincy Jones, to create a lively and upbeat musical score. Throughout the film, Sachs employed a variety of visual and comedic techniques, including sight gags, verbal humor, and physical comedy. He also made use of the film's Los Angeles setting, using the city's iconic locations to add a sense of place and authenticity to the story. Overall, Sack's directorial vision for Cactus Flower was one of humor, art, and visual style. His approach to the material was playful and energetic, and he brought out the best in his cast and crew to create a film that is both funny and memorable. Wife, I bounced down the stairs saying to myself, and I suddenly remembered I had no wife. The 1969 movie Cactus Flower is a romantic comedy with a unique twist. Starring Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn, the film tells the story of a dentist who lies to his girlfriend about being married, only to have his receptionist pretend to be his soon-to-be ex-wife. The movie is filled with funny, shocking, and sad moments that make it a classic. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this movie? Many people remember watching Cactus Flower for the first time, and being struck by its humor and heart. The film's enduring qualities, such as its witty dialogue and memorable performances, have made it an everlasting symbol of the industry. Throughout the movie, we see the characters grappling with issues of love, honesty, and identity. These themes continue to resonate with audiences today, making Cactus Flower a timeless film. As we delve deeper into the story, we uncover many surprising facts about the production and the actors' lives. From unexpected romances to groundbreaking performances, Cactus Flower has it all. Do you have a favorite moment or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. 
Whether you were moved by the film's emotional depth or simply enjoyed its lighthearted humor, Cactus Flower is a movie that continues to captivate audiences. She didn't want to, huh? Maybe I didn't want to. Huh? I doubt that. I saw the way you kissed. The 1969 movie Cactus Flower was filmed primarily in Hollywood, with some scenes shot in Tijuana, Mexico. The set design was a key aspect of the production, particularly the creation of Tony's apartment, which was filled with cactus plants and bohemian decor to reflect her free-spirited character. The film's locations also presented logistical challenges. The Tijuana scenes required the production team to navigate permits and coordinate with local authorities. Additionally, the cast and crew had to deal with language barriers and cultural differences. To capture the film's numerous location shots, the production team employed innovative techniques such as using lightweight, handheld cameras. This allowed for greater mobility and flexibility during filming, enabling the crew to capture more dynamic and spontaneous performances from the actors. Despite these challenges, the production of Cactus Flower was a success, thanks in large part to the hard work and dedication of the cast and crew. The film's unique blend of comedy, romance, and drama along with its memorable characters and iconic set design, have made it an enduring classic in the world of cinema. Dancer. You mean Igor, she's the one that's plastering herself against him. And I think of all I've done for her. Cactus Flower, a delightful comedy from 1969, revolves around a love triangle between a free-spirited young woman named Tony, played by Goldie Hawn, her liar of a dentist boyfriend, Julian, portrayed by Walter Matthau, and his ever-dependable and honest assistant, Stephanie, acted out by Ingrid Bergman. The film is light-hearted and fun, but it also touches on themes that were ahead of its time, such as feminism and gender stereotypes. The story is engaging, and the acting is top-notch. Ingrid Bergman, who was in her 50s during filming, looks stunning and brings class to her role. Goldie Hawn is absolutely charming and vivacious as Tony. Walter Matthau is the perfect choice for the role of Julian, and the rest of the cast also delivers solid performances. The film's music, composed by Quincy Jones, has a foot-tapping effect, and the cinematography and editing are well done. The director, Gene Sachs, keeps the story on track and delivers plenty of laugh-out-loud moments. One of my personal favorites is the final dance sequence, which had me rolling on the floor with laughter. Cactus Flower is a well-made movie that explores themes that are still relevant today. It's a wonderful comedy that I would recommend to anyone looking for a fun and entertaining film. I'm looking forward to watching it again in the future. Look at them dancing. You're not jealous, are you? She shouldn't leave her mate. The creation of a film score and soundtrack is a meticulous process, and the 1969 movie Cactus Flower is no exception. The music in this film, composed by Quincy Jones, plays a significant role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone. Quincy Jones, an accomplished musician and composer, skillfully crafted a score that underscores the film's comedic and romantic elements. The music subtly enhances the story's humor and the character's emotions, contributing to the overall viewing experience. The soundtrack features popular songs of the time, which further immerses the audience in the film's 1960s setting. Notably, the film's theme song, The Look of Love, performed by Dusty Springfield, became a hit single and is now a classic associated with the movie. Jones' collaboration with musicians like Hubert Laws and Yumir Diodato resulted in a vibrant and fitting score for Cactus Flower. The composition's lighthearted and playful nature mirrors the film's comedic timing, while the more poignant pieces highlight the character's vulnerability and deep emotions. In an interview, Jones shared his approach to scoring films, stating, you're trying to enhance the visual experience, not overpower it. This philosophy is evident in Cactus Flower, where the music supports the story without distracting from the actor's performances. In conclusion, the creation of the score and soundtrack for Cactus Flower involved careful planning and execution by Quincy Jones and his team of musicians. The result is a collection of memorable compositions and songs that perfectly complement the film's narrative and emotional tone. See, my problem is she thinks I'm already married. Well, could you have gotten such an idea? Well, at the time I had my... The play Cactus Flower premiered on Broadway in 1965, starring Lauren Buckall and Barry Nelson, and ran for over 1 in 200 performances. 
The film adaptation in 1969, starring Walter Matthau and Goldie Hawn, received recognition with Hawn winning the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. The plot revolves around a dentist posing as a married man to date his receptionist, which was also used in the 2011 film Just Go With It, starring Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston, with the setting changed to a plastic surgeon's office and Goldie Hawn's character played by Brooklyn Decker. One of the most iconic scenes in Cactus Flower is when Tony sings Chicken Dance at a nightclub. Director Gene Sachs expertly captures Hans' comedic timing and infectious energy. Hans' performance is enthusiastic and playful, endearing her to the audience. The vibrant nightclub setting, with its swirling lights and energetic crowd, adds to the scene's charm. Hans later mentioned in an interview that this scene helped her secure the role of Tony as it showcased her comedic abilities. Another memorable scene is the proposal between Julian and Tony. Julian, dressed as a Spanish nobleman, declares his love for Tony amidst a colorful and whimsical carnival atmosphere. Sachs uses wide shots to capture the lively carnival setting, while close-ups highlight the emotions on the actors' faces. Matthau's sincere delivery and Han's delighted reaction make this scene impactful and heartwarming. The film's climax, when Stephanie discovers Julian's deception, is also noteworthy. Bergman's performance is subdued yet powerful as she grapples with the revelation. The use of close-ups and dim lighting adds to the tension and emotion of the scene. Bergman's portrayal of Stephanie's hurt and disappointment resonates with the audience, making this scene one of the film's most memorable. Throughout Cactus Flower, the direction, performances, and cinematography work together to create iconic scenes that have stood the test of time. The film's ability to balance comedy and drama, combined with its talented cast and creative direction, has made Cactus Flower a classic that continues to captivate audiences today. You'll arrange it, won't you, Julian? Arrange what? For me to meet your wife. It's very important that she doesn't think of me as something. In 1969, the film Cactus Flower was released, featuring a successful play storyline. Brenda Vaccaro had been nominated for a Tony Award for her role as Tony in the play's 1966 production, a part that would later earn Goldie Hawn an Oscar. Hawn's win was unexpected, given her previous image as a bubbly blonde in a popular TV show. In one scene, Vaccaro's character references the play's origins, expressing her anticipation for the film adaptation. This line highlights the successful transition of Cactus Flower from stage to screen. The 1969 movie Cactus Flower, starring Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn, had a significant cultural and social impact. The film resonated with audiences due to its unconventional love triangle and the comedic portrayal of serious issues like marriage and infidelity. Cactus Flower was influential in pop culture, particularly in showcasing the rising talent of Goldie Hawn, who won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Tony Simmons. The film also contributed to discussions on relevant social themes, such as the changing roles of women in society during the late 1960s. The movie's success can be attributed to its ability to tackle complex issues with humor and wit, making it more accessible and relatable to a broader audience. Cactus Flower's impact can still be seen today as it paved the way for future romantic comedies and addressed societal shifts in gender roles and expectations. I just wanted to make sure you got home all right. No, I didn't get it. Burt Brinkerhoff, nominated for a 1966 Tony Award for his role in Cactus Flower, played Igor in the original production. The film's director, Gene Sachs, paid homage to his work on the Broadway musical Mame by featuring its original cast recording in a scene. In this scene, a customer in a record store approaches Tony, holding the Mame album. The three children seen in the background during a walkabout in New York with Walter Matthau and Goldie Hawn are David Matthau and Jenny Matthau, the director's children, and Paul Diamond, the son of IAL. Diamond, one of the film's screenwriters, this behind-the-scenes detail adds a personal touch to the film, showcasing the connections between the cast and crew of Cactus Flower and other Broadway productions. The 1969 comedy film Cactus Flower 
received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. Walter Matthau's performance as a womanizing dentist was widely praised. In his review for the New York Times, Renata Adler called Matthau's performance excellent and the film a bright, cheerful, engaging comedy. The film's screenplay, based on a French play, was also highlighted as a strength. Critics appreciated the clever dialogue and the way the story was adapted for the screen. The cast, which included Ingrid Bergman and Goldie Hawn in her film debut, was also commended. Cactus Flower was a success at the box office and received several award nominations. Walter Matthau was nominated for a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Musical or Comedy, and Goldie Hawn won the Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress for her role as the airheaded receptionist. The film was also nominated for an Academy Award for Best Adapted Screenplay. These accolades were significant for those involved in the film. For Walter Matthau, it was further proof of his talent as a leading man. For Goldie Hawn, it was a breakthrough role that helped launch her successful film career. For Ingrid Bergman, it was a chance to shine in a lighter role after years of dramatic parts. The positive critical reception and awards for Cactus Flower also reflected well on the film's director, Gene Sachs, and the screenwriters IAL, Diamond, and Abe Burroughs. The film's success was a testament to their ability to bring together a talented cast and create an entertaining and engaging film. Another guy. In the 1969 film Cactus Flower, there are some interesting behind-the-scenes facts worth noting. For instance, the line about using a ruler, delivered by Walter Matthau's character in the art gallery, was originally written for a geometric painting exhibit. But when the scene was filmed six months later, the exhibit had changed to sculptures. Despite the non sequitur nature of the remark, it ended up being funny. The Mexican missile drink that appears in the movie is a real drink. And while the recipe calls for gin, silver tequila, orange juice, grenadine syrup, and strawberry schnapps, it can still be enjoyable without the schnapps. Two of these drinks will indeed have a powerful effect on you. Regarding the cast, the character of Marcia, Tony's co-worker at the record store, is not credited despite having almost two minutes of screen time and ten lines of dialogue. This is unusual, especially considering that other actors with less screen time and dialogue are credited. Overall, these facts add an extra layer of interest to the film, giving audiences something more to think about beyond the storyline. That's what I think. Oh, I hate to be funny. No, wait a minute. No, let's not get excited. You're Miss Dickens. In the production of Cactus Flower, several fascinating stories unfolded behind the scenes. Walter Matthau, who played the role of a dentist, was known for his love for practical jokes. He often played tricks on his co-stars, especially Goldie Hawn, to keep the atmosphere light and fun. In one instance, he even filled her dressing room with balloons. Goldie Hawn, in her first major film role, was quite nervous. To help her relax, the director, Gene Sachs, would often play her favorite songs between takes. This unexpectedly led to an improvised scene where Han's character, Tony, dances to the look of love by Dusty Springfield, which became a memorable moment in the film. The film screenwriter, IAL, Diamond, made an appearance as a pharmacist, marking his only acting role in a film. He was better known for his collaborations with director Billy Wilder, having written screenplays for renowned films like Some Like It Hot and The Apartment. The set of Cactus Flower was filled with laughter and camaraderie in the cast and crew formed close bonds during filming. The film's success not only launched Goldie Hawn's career, but also solidified Walter Matthau's status as a leading man in comedy. The behind-the-scenes anecdotes of Cactus Flower offer a glimpse into the lighthearted and enjoyable experience of making this classic film. Ingrid Bergman's return to a Hollywood soundstage after decades of working in Europe was marked by her role in Cactus Flower. This film also marked the debut of Sylvia Stone. Interestingly, Bergman makes a reference to something out of a fortune cookie, which is a nod to Walter Matthau's previous work in the fortune cookie, for which he won an Oscar just three years earlier. Public's not quite ready for that yet. Where do you live? I get an allowance from my father. Released in 1969, Cactus Flower is a romantic comedy that has left a lasting impact on film history. The movie, directed by Gene Sachs, is an adaptation of a successful Broadway play of the same name.
It stars Walter Matthau, Ingrid Bergman, and Goldie Hawn in her film debut, who won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role. Cactus Flower's influence on future filmmaking is evident in its innovative storytelling and character development. The film explores themes of love, deception, and identity in a lighthearted and entertaining way. Its unique plot structure, which involves a series of misunderstandings and twists, has inspired similar storytelling techniques in subsequent romantic comedies. One of the most significant contributions of Cactus Flower is its impact on the careers of its lead actors. Walter Matthau, who was already an established star, further solidified his status as a versatile and bankable actor. Ingrid Bergman, a legendary actress, added another memorable performance to her illustrious career. And Goldie Hawn, in her film debut, announced her arrival as a talented and captivating actress. Cactus Flower has also inspired several remakes and adaptations. A Broadway musical adaptation, titled First Date, premiered in 2012. The film's success also led to the production of a television series adaptation in 1970, which starred Lee Majors and Helen Funai. In conclusion, Cactus Flower is a significant film in Hollywood's history, leaving a lasting legacy and influence on future filmmaking and the careers of its lead actors. Its innovative storytelling and character development have inspired similar techniques in subsequent romantic comedies, while its impact on the careers of its lead actors has been substantial. The film's remakes and adaptations are a testament to its enduring appeal and relevance. I told you. It looks more like 12 to me. Yes, well, no, it's... In the 1969 film Cactus Flower, Goldie Hawn received an introducing credit, even though she had previously appeared in the one and only genuine original family band in 1968. This film, however, marked a significant breakthrough for Hawn who would go on to win an Academy Award for her performance, making her one of 24 actresses to have received the honor for their work in a comedy. Cactus Flower was also the final film for Barbara Randolph, who played the role of Harriet. While Han's career continued to flourish, Randolph's untimely death in 1974 cut short what promised to be a promising career. The actresses who have won an Academy Award for their performances in comedies include Claudette Colbert, Loretta Young, Josephine Hull, Audrey Hepburn, Glenda Jackson, Lee Grant, Diane Keaton, Maggie Smith, Mary Steenburgen, Jessica Lange, Olympia Dukakis, Cher, Jessica Tandy, Mercedes Ruhl, Marissa Tomei, Diane Wiest, Mira Sorvino, Frances McDormand, Helen Hunt, Judy Dench, Gwyneth Paltrow, Penelope Cruz, Jennifer Lawrence, and Emma Stone. Goldie Hawn's win for Cactus Flower remains a significant milestone in her career and in the history of comedy films. Slacks, slacks, can't you be bigger than that? Well, what can be bigger than black feather slacks? Okay, I give up. In the 1969 film Cactus Flower, Barry Nelson's role as Julian Winston was initially performed on Broadway. Nelson was known for his unique ability to consistently replicate his performance, eliciting laughter in the same spots during every show. This was particularly evident in comedies, as was the case with Cactus Flower. For Goldie Hawn, this film marked her first picture under a four-picture deal with independent producer Mike Frankovich. Hawn's performance would later earn her a Golden Globe Award. Interestingly, due to the original play not being significantly altered for the film, the casting confines suggest that Dr. Julian Winston has only three patients. This limited number of patients is atypical for a medical practice, but it works within the context of the film. Life Smith. When I think women are nuts are running around loose in this town, carry on. I'd like to invite you to share your memories and experiences related to the 1969 movie Cactus Flower. Did you watch it in theaters or on TV? How did it impact you personally or influence your perspective on cinema? We'd love to hear your stories. Whether it's about the talented cast, the memorable plot, or the cultural significance of the film, your insights are valuable to us. If you enjoyed this cinematic exploration, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing for more content like this. Your engagement helps us continue to delve into the world of classic films and bring these discussions to life. So, let's hear your thoughts. Join the conversation and share your cactus flower memories with us.